Friendly Neighborhood Gamer here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be going over two rune glitches that are going to get you the best bang for your buck. And I will also throw in a tip that will make it 10 times easier to do these. But of course, before we get into the video, let's shout out to some of the new subscribers to the channel. Thank you, Tech Like, Graham Bennett, Sandip Paul, Rezaren, Thiago Barbary, Clayton996, Mark, and Cast26Dom. Thank you all so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it, so thank you. Now with that said, let's get right into the video. So the first glitch that we have is we're going to be at this side of grace right here. Once you're at this side of grace, what you're going to do is just follow my path. Now make sure that when you get to the top here that you call the elevator back down just in case you are going to repeat this. However, with the tip at the end of the video, you won't need to do that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make our way outside here and we're just gonna make our way up into the left. Now you do have to be careful out here because those creepy hands are placed all over this area. And I also do want to mention that I am on NG plus five. And if you don't know what that means, I am just on my fifth playthrough. So the amount of runes I get is going to be different than what you get. So like I said, just be careful going up this little path here just because of those hands, but they're actually pretty easy to dodge. So once you're about right here, what we're going to do is we're just going to sprint and then jump off this cliff and delay the second jump just a little and then free fall. Make sure you swing your sword every 13 seconds or it will kill you. So once you have done that, what you're going to do is just fall for as long as you can until you get those two waves of runes. You'll receive a first wave and then you'll receive a second wave, which you'll see here in just a sec. Now, of course, the next one's going to be in the Mogwin Palace area because, of course, this place has the best falling rune methods. So for this one, I thought it was actually patched, but it is not patched. All you have to do is make your way along this cliffside to the right here and make sure you hug the wall. Be careful of those giant skeletons that spawn because sometimes they will shoot at you. But once we are about right here, what we're going to do is jump on the wall, jump right there, and then we're going to jump over to this rock and then jump up here, and then jump to this other rock, and then jump right there again, barely dodging the skeleton, and then we're gonna go right here, and we are going to jump in this hole. Now, I wanna share a tip with you guys that some of you might not actually know. Once you have actually done the falling rune method, and you've fallen and gotten your runes, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna actually close out of the game, and then reload the game. That way you don't have to go back to the spot and do all the parkour. This will save you a ton of time. Now, if you do have an older generation console, then it might take longer than needed. But if you're on one of the new generation consoles, such as a nice gaming PC, or you're on the PS5 or Xbox Series X, your load times are pretty fast. So now that we already got the runes, what we're gonna do is we're going to quit to the main menu and we're gonna load back into the game. And then once you load back into the game, you are going to be at that same spot where you jumped. You're just gonna jump again, and then you're gonna repeat the process as many times as you want without doing the parkour. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Hit the damn subscribe button already.